What is a Smart App Workspace? How do you manipulate them? And how are they connected to your Google Drive? Well, in my Google Drive, to start with, I have a whole bunch of files in my drive. I can create a new Smart AMP workspace right from here by going more and then any of the apps that I have connected such as Smart AMP will simply click and load right into Smart AMP. I sign in with my Google which is already connected and we're good to go. And you end up at the Smart AMP page where you can go directly to workspaces or create one. You can create a very simple workspace um, categories. We can put it in a certain folder or change where that folder is. And it makes a template that all students can collaborate on at the same time and teachers can add text to. You click on them, double click and it will let you change the text. Um, you can change the color of the text. You just have to highlight it. You can change the font and size and in it goes. You can um, add little bookmarks here, um, and the idea is that you would maybe want to focus attention on one particular area. So you can zoom into a particular area, and you can add a bookmark here. We'll add one, and you can name this bookmark change. And then whenever the teacher is um, doing a follow me or presenting or simply directing the kids to different areas of this larger file that you can zoom in and out of. Um, the bookmarks help. You can insert pictures. You can search um, anything that you want. It'll search Smart Exchange for um, topics or you can actually do a web search and you can just grab little things and put them in. Um, the web search is a Bing search and you can find the same little things from the web. They come in tagged with the source of where they come from. You can move them around and make them smaller, whatever you need to do. You can insert links and YouTube videos, web content here, um, text and um, other links. You can even insert your own notebook file or PDF file. To show you what some of those look like, I'm going to go back to my little home arrow and get a pre-created workspace. I'll go to my workspaces and it'll get all my documents from Google Drive. This is a high school lesson, um, an inquiry project where we started with a question and I let the kids work together in groups. So I handed out copies of this to them after I showed them a little follow me. And when they were all done, the students could use pass control to present back to the rest of the group. This file is larger than the screen. So there are bookmarks that show the overall picture, the actual question, um, some key considerations for digital citizenship, um, a project, who the target audience will be, and other um, things I wanted the kids to look at. So when I go back to the overall picture here, you can simply zoom in and out to see what all else is here. Um, you can insert uh, links. And this is what a link looks like when it's inserted. You can insert YouTube videos. Here's a YouTube video that's inserted and embedded and different links just using this YouTube and link um, here embedding and they come in. You can insert assessment questions. You just go to a little question and create an assessment and it will put a little um, a little question in for the students to answer when the students are in the class. You have to try this out with some of your colleagues um, to see what it looks like when students answer questions. This is a notebook file. Um, it's not interactive. It'll play here um, in the corner and you can go through. It's got four pages. Um, and you can see that more text is not as good on these little ones. Um, but you can put an overall notebook file in if it has some key tips for you. You can see the file inside the AMP file. Um, this is Workspaces and Smart AMP. Um, you can write with a pen on it, you can erase with your eraser, and you can move items around um, or move single items around 
as you create your workspace. Um, you can't see the full functionality until you hand out some copies and see kids interacting with it together.